Hello everyone and Hi, welcome everyone. back to PIB Popcorn in Bed. Woo! Okay, so we kind of swerved with what we're watching tonight. Swerve, swerve? I basically I just like had so much fun during Witness Week watching mm -hmm. courtroom dramas. We both loved Aaron Brockovich. Yes. And loved then it. I watched the next two alone. So we're doing a bonus courtroom drama. This is the one that I kind of wanted to watch the most out of the poll. It's Runaway Jury. That's fun! Yes! And I also actually don't really know anything about this movie, but for some reason I wanted to watch this one yeah. too. Yeah, like I don't know if it's like the crowdsourcing I've heard about it or something. I don't know. Yeah, because I was putting movies out there that we could watch tonight, yeah. and uh, we both, we both were wanted like, yeah. to watch this one. We're Maybe we it did. was on my mom's favorite movie list. Maybe my dad. So Maybe and like ours. I just said, I just one day the courtroom drama is is fun and thrilling, and I'm excited. So Carly said, "Who's in it?" I said, "John Cusack." She said, "Who's that?" I said, "The guy from Serendipity." And I said, "Oh, I love him." <laughs> and someone said, "Oh, that's how you got it." Okay. <laughs> we know. Yeah, we know how each other works. Yeah. <laughs> so we are watching Runaway Jury as a bonus courtroom drama, and I guess this could technically be my August or your August popcorn pick of the month. Great. Okay. So many fun things. Um, if you want to vote on polls like courtroom drama poll and things like that, um, join my Patreon here. It's super fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You guys are the Something best. about a bell. Let's go team. Watch our movie. All right, Runaway Jerry, here we go. The one I watched um, the other night did not have a satisfying ending, so I'm really needing this. That's too. devastating. <laughs> to go on a whole movie journey and not get a satisfying ending. Uh, oof. Oof, oof. Happy birthday to you. This is Hooks checking your news headline. Gene Hackman's in it. Dustin Hoffman? That's the Rain Man. Rain Man. Mmm. He's familiar too. Yeah, we know this guy, right? Yeah. Rachel Weiss, you know her? Um, I might. Definitely, maybe. The oh! One with the professor. Okay, That'd gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are gonna be like, that's how you got there, huh? <laughs> Jacob, Ted. What? I'm scared something bad's gonna happen right yeah. away. So, how did Henry's party go? Terrific. He had a great time. Good. I have a problem. He taught me a song for his birthday, and I have to sing it for him tonight at bedtime, and I can't think for the life of me. You know, sing me a little, and we'll figure it out together. The buzzing of the bees. Where Shazam when you need it. The bird sings on the big rock candy mountain. Oh. Hold that one. Holy crap. Yes, I, I want to report a shooting. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get behind the desk. What? Get behind the desk and stay there. They put me on hold. Hello? Hide! Hide! Oh my gosh. Lock the doors. Get away from the windows. Hello? Don't go out. Don't go out. Don't go out. Don't go out. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, keep them close. Keep them close. <laughs> no. 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 I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hated that. Wait, he was a sweet dad. I know this song. Oh boy, okay, okay, okay. Christmas comes a little early this year. You ever been called to jury duty? No, I didn't know that it was. Is it real? It's real, real right? I think it's real. I know it is. It just seems like one of those things that like. Bingo! We have a winner. This is like the side of the case trying to. Who's next on the head parade? What? Anyways, I thought it was like one of those like fairy tale things, you know, like they exist, but I actually don't know anyone in real life who's been called. Do you? I feel like I've heard stories, but I can't. Yeah, I don't know. Matrix. Specifics in the Matrix. Jury duty. Got a summons in the mail. Just trying to pray my way out of it. Where's your sense of civic duty? Do you have any other uh, tips? I would go with a St. Catherine candle. She's the patron saint of unmarried women and jurors. Really? 
Really? <laughs> Why am I like on edge? I again now? well because Gene Hackman. Your first time in New Orleans? I've been here a number of times. How's your mother? Is she feeling better? How you know about my mother? Your wife wants you to put her in a home, but you're feeling guilty about that. Doesn't feel like the Christian thing to do. My advice, reconsider the home. What? Was Were that him? just like his observing skills or did I he do know things about no. him? He's gonna testify for us. We're gonna make history together. What do I know him? Yeah, I know him too. Then just hostel. Ah, oh, hot step we, yeah. Yes, jury consultants. Uh, I, I appreciate that you invited me down here, sir. Yeah. How familiar are you with my case? Very, sir. Yeah. You think it's a uh, strong case? Yes, sir. How could it have a strong case? What's what do you mean? It's against the shooter, right? So it's like how do they not have a strong right. case? That gun company's finding out things about prospective jurors their husbands and their wives don't even know. And the word is the defense has retained Rankin Fitch as their lead jury consultant. Well, they're suing so they're the, gun the gun company. company. I have a feeling this is Rankin Mr. Fitch. Fitch? Mm -hmm. How's your flight? Fine, Fitch. Holy. This is quite the operations. Oh my god. That's freaky. So that's those people were taking pictures of him. Fitch's team will be scientifically picking jurors predisposed in his favor by using video surveillance, wire taxes. Dolores Kennelly. How do they get to handpick the jury? Is it like those just random? Well, I think there's like a pool of juries that come out and then they together, the defendant and the prosecute, pick uh, certain ones and just get rid of certain ones because of biases and stuff. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's find 11 more jurors and three alternates just like her. I got my life. I got my work. Ooh, oh, wait, 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 ooh. You can claim hardship. That's, that's, eight you weeks that's eight weeks and you're gone. I can't do it. You can't Your do Honor, it. I can't do it. Through all of this, just get a jury duty? You've been convicted of a felony. Have you been convicted of a felony? Has you commit a crime? That's it. You get it. You, look, that's you're it. asking again. Oh, yikes. Can't be too safe these days. Walking on the streets. <laughs> oh, <laughs> smooth, Maxine. Oh, you should let me take it down to fine range. Really. That a boy. I got a few ideas. I bet. Wait, that girl works for. Oh yeah. my goodness! Wow. Retired Marine Sergeant served tours in Panama and Grenada, twice divorced. I think Frank Herrera would make an excellent jury foreman, don't you, Mr. Cable? Wow. Who's next? Next is Nicholas Easter, manager of Game Trader in the Esplanade Mall. No, watch me hit this lady in the head. <gasps> oh, you know, her head explodes. It completely explodes. Right. Okay, show right. me and hold it. Is that Maxine again? I. It could be. I'm um, um, Maxine. It's Maxine. Uh, Easter. Wants to make everybody happy. Not a bad way to go through life, making everybody happy. But in court, it's not that simple. Somebody always loses, just not me. He's a risk. Let's move on. Interesting. Attorneys will begin questioning potential jurors yes. today. And what's the the wow, I had no idea of such a process. How about the juries? Yeah. Juries, jurors. Like this, they're all going to deal right now just to pick the jury. Yeah. You know what you're doing? You're good to go. Same prescription. Frames, however, will feel a little bit heavier. Oh my gosh. Right side of the table. This must cost so much money for that gun company? Yeah. I'm gonna be putting this behind your right ear. There, all set. You done? Is that allowed? I know, seriously. I don't think so. It's like, why are they in a dark room talking about all these things? You know, <laughs> like, Fitch, Finch, Fitch. He's yes. reminding me of his character in Crimson Tide with Denzel, the sub-captain, USS. Yes. Oh yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he's just like very yes, like uh -huh. my way Spot or the highway. On. Yeah, totally, totally. Furniture polish, cheap cologne, and body odor. Wendell? It's like a crime to not show up for your jury. I duty, think so. Right? Uh huh. I don't even open half my mail if it looks like junk. What if. The Honorable Frederick Buford Hawkins presiding. <gasps> you may take your seats. He's also a judge and legally blonde. Dark suit. You've heard the myth. You meet the man. I don't. I don't feel one way or another about guns, but I sure hate to see people get hurt. Ever fired a gun in sport or in self-defense? Uh, look at the shoulder shrug. So you think she's lying? Not necessarily. Ricky Coleman, 36 years of age. Her husband's a Baptist minister. She had an abortion two years ago. And and and. And the guy holding her hand at the clinic? Not the Baptist minister. Ooh. They find this stuff out. Seriously. Mr. Cable. Take her. No objections here, Your Honor. Enter Mrs. Coleman as a juror. Wow. I've been living here about 14 years. Take him, Mr. Cable. Take him. We accept this juror, Your Honor. No objections, Your Honor. Thank you. 
We'll accept this job. Looks good. No objection. No, no, no. Peremptory challenge. Go ahead, sir. What are your grounds? We accept this job. No. No, this other Let's take him, Mr. Cable. Your Honor, we accept this job. No objection. Wow, 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 wow. Nine millimeter and stuff was more of a man's kind of gun. No, Jerry objection. Fernandez. We know about her. Carry it down. Your Honor, we accept this. Let's not go down this road. Is he not consulting with his guy? Yeah, I feel like not even a little bit. Or I guess we only saw the one time he was like going against him. Oh, wow. Why does this make them look evil when they all show up in cars <laughs> like that? Well, we think $20 million ought to be enough to secure a jury in the People's Republic of Berkeley, California. How about 30000 It's an interesting amount to reflect on. The number of gun deaths every year. Well, the number of men, women, and children who are disabled by your gentleman's products, 100000 Or we could focus on the number one. Because one is all they want. One win, because once they get that, they're gonna be traveling around this country filing civil actions at that $2 billion. What I'm asking for is a pittance. 1.5 each, that's 7.5 total. Whoever they vote for will be following me. Trials are too important to be left up to juries. Wow. Goes against the whole everything. Uh, American law system. <laughs> Seriously. Nicholas Easter. Mr. Easter. What do you feel if you knew there was a gun behind the counter in case of a robbery? Well, we're in the mall, sir. It's right across the street from the sheriff's office in Jefferson Parish. Well, I mean, you have to be on crack to try to rob him. I guess that's my point. I think if you knew my situation, you might be inclined to excuse me. For Your situation? It's the uh, Madden challenge. Madden what? You know Madden football? <laughs> no. I'm not like following you. It's like this, Your Honor. The prize is a hundred thousand dollars. Big like deal. This not that this is a big deal. Civic responsibility. Do you have any objection to that? The jury system was originated, Mr. Easter, because for <laughs> thousands of years, individual judge had the power to hang, for example, any young man he simply did not like. Yes, Your Honor. Harkin sandbag us. Go ahead and take him. Take him. No objections, Your Honor. Enter Mr. Nicholas Easter as a Freeze jury. that right there, will you? I think it's be a good thing Nicholas Easter's on that jury. Yeah. Everybody has a secret. They don't want you to find. Find it. So they can blackmail them with their secrets? Yeah. These are your babies, people. This is what you live for. You imagine the being world? Your job? Just like seriously finding out their deep dark secrets. Oh my gosh. Does he have a secret life? I think you got the wrong apartment. What are you gonna do? Call the cops? It's that one girl, right? From the candle store? What are you nervous about, huh? Are not juror number nine in the biggest case of the year? You're kidding. What'd you do it? Madden challenge. It was a thing of beauty. The judge even threatened to hang me. What in the world? I love St. Catherine. I'm confused. I'm so lost and confused. He wanted, he, that was all manipulation to get yeah. on the jury. And he like saw them taking pictures, so he played it up with his friends. And he knows they were going to be. Yeah. What kind of operation are they running here? They're going to be seeing each other for a while. They're going to be watching us. You have to come back to bed <laughs> now. We only need eight of them for a verdict. We don't have anything yet. Whose side is he on? I don't know. I think we should elect a jury foreman. Like Judge Harkin instructed us. And who would that be, Mr. Matt? No one else feels strongly about it. I'd like to throw Just like he suspected. What makes you think you're the best person for the job? I was a master sergeant in the Marine Corps. I served my country in Panama, Grenada, Beirut. I'd also like to be considered. I was watching a lot of people very closely during the jury selection. Mm -hmm. Sir, what is your name? Herman Grimes. Mm -hmm. Only Herman had the guts to stand up to the judge. I think it'd be a good idea for him to represent us. All in favor, Herman. But he just became the net. He's already got the yeah. people, you know? You're right. Thank you. Something else down. Thank you. October two years ago, they couldn't stop. Eleven lives ended. And among them was Jacob Wood, the husband of my client Celeste, father of their son Henry, six years old. Oh. Why does the Vicksburg Firearms Company make it so easy? Because they care more about making money than they do about your life. Excuse me, would you please now, please, Mr. Warren, Mr. Kelly? Okay. Yes, it was Mr. Kelly. What is going on here? I don't think either of them will be news to you. A day that no one is more aware of that or takes more risk, especially Can Vicksburg Firearms. What? Every day to ensure that they're cars every day to keep the guns out of the hands of the criminals. I doubt you'll find any, but have this sprayed for prints. Dang, what is going on? You know, it looks like Judge Harkin won't be breaking until after two. Would you mind holding this jury's lunch order till then? She wants the lunch to be late. But why? 
hungry people are more irritable. Maybe. So then one side gets to deliver the lunch or something? I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, but would you mind not doing that in here? I'm predisposed to ask. Damn, I can't smoke. Can't leave the room. What is this, California? <laughs> Hold on, come on, come on, together. You know what I think? I think we're all just really hungry, and where's our lunch? They promised us. Herman, you want me to go check out what's going on with the lunch? Good idea, Nick. Go see what's taking them. Herman? You are. Nick Easter, juror number nine. I would strongly advise you to return to that jury room and finish your lunch. I think somebody forgot to order our lunch. Everybody knows you here in the parish. They know you like to keep a tight schedule. I gotta be honest with you, sir. We're hungry. From 35 years, that is the most absurd thing I've ever seen. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I it wasn't me, it was Judge Harkin. Let's say, <laughs> Judge Harkin. I just can't. I just I know. don't know what his end I goal know. is. I know. But I like him so much. I, <laughs> I think he might be a scam artist, though. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. I think we ought to discuss it, at least. You know how many of those crank things I get? What if it's for real? Well, if it's for real, then this isn't a trial. And I might as well get on this phone here and call up all those anti-gun activists and tell them we're just going to put on a telethon and we will buy this verdict. He's right. Hello, Rankin. I'd like to know who I'm speaking with. You can call me Marley. 15 miles away. Where are we going with this, Marley? All the way to the verdict. And I can push it either way. For a price. For now, I just hope you're feeling patriotic. <laughs> what? Frank, you were in Panama and Grenada, right? Pulling the bodies of friends of mine out of the rubble. It was really something, Nick. You don't understand. I had a friend who was in Desert Storm. He was in the court, too. That was mostly air power. Not much real action down there, anyhow. My friend's name was Donnie Rabs, and his helicopter was shot down in the Kuwaiti oil field. He was killed 12 years ago today. Listen, I don't know if it would be inappropriate, but do you think we could do something today to remember him? You know what? I have an idea. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Hope you're feeling patriotic. Oh my god. And is Nick out there? Oh, he is. Oh. You wanted to see me? Mr. Cable called me last night. Bit of a panic. Someone's trying to monkey with our jury. Who is it? It's a parlor game. Because I was under the impression that we had already purchased ourselves a verdict. Mr. Fitch, you'll find out who it is, will you? So they were going to pay him the 25 million or whatever, I think, to come onto the case. Holy cow. Right here at the end, Lorraine Duke, our juror number 10. They're right there, freeze there, right there. Nicholas Easter, our song and dance man, has an agenda. How did this confidence man crash my jury pool? Maybe he just did it. Who wants jury duty? Nobody, right? It's like going to the dentist. Mr. Doyle, I'm on it. Is it not true that Vicksburg Firearm, instead of investigating the increasing number of guns that were being sold to one man, send you and your wife on a trip to Jamaica? No. No? My wife hates Jamaica. We switched to Cancun. Shoot. This is crazy. Yeah. Do you think this actually happened? Oh, sadly. Probably, yes. But they would have known that they were going to do this. Right. right? Yes. Oh, hi. <gasps> get him, get him, get him, get him. Run faster. Tell the police? Yeah. Or, or is, is that a taxi? <gasps> Jinx. <gasps> Sheesh. Oh my gosh. Dang it! I really thought he was gonna catch him. Oh, oh he got him! He got him! He got him! Oh my god! What's the plan, Mr. Doyle? Oh my gosh, they did. Lamb, trace it. And now they have dirt on him. They can blackmail them. You broke into Nick Easter's apartment. You freely assume it was me. I'm bumping a juror, one of yours. This time's just gonna be a pinprick. Next time it's really gonna hurt. She's bumping a juror? She's gonna get one of them off the case? Looks like somebody had themselves a good time last night. I woke up on my stove. You don't got any aspirin, do you? I think I can do a little bit better than an aspirin. An angel. Well, let me pour it. I'll be doing it. 
Let me do it. It's mine, sir. Didn't take you for a day drinker, Mr. Easter. And now he's going to reverse psychology him again, mm -hmm. huh? Your Honor, I took an oath to do my level best, and I meant it. It's even more difficult to believe this is your liquor. But I don't think that's your shade of lipstick. Miss Hewlett? Miss Dietz? Could you join the jurors in the box, please? Yeah, I trust you got the same instructions the rest of the jurors did. You ready to go? Shoot. That doesn't show me that you can deliver a verdict. Hell, I could get Nick Easter can if I put five man hours into it. You need him to guarantee the jury swings your way. So next time I call, have your offer ready. Okay, so it's like common knowledge. We know it's Nick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This girl is an amateur. Is she? I want you to find her. I want you to contain her because you're losing me my jury. Now find something on every one of them. Ricky Coleman's boyfriend's name is Neil Pollard. Mrs. Coleman broke it off with him two months after the abortion. Your husband looks a lot different than your boyfriend with you at the clinic. <gasps> oh my gosh. Mr. Weiss began filling prescriptions for the following drug. Rixavan, Epivir, and AZT. Weiss is HIV positive. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Be in touch. Owens and Strode are about to close the snare as we speak. Poppy Dupree, you're under arrest. That's part of his team. Federal code attempting to bribe a government official. So, that's not real FBI. No. Oh my goodness. You were the one who sold a gun used by Kevin Peltier in the broker child shootings, is that correct? Yeah, that is correct, and I did a stretch for that too. Mm -hmm. Was Vicksburg Firearms aware that you were out there reselling their product? No. Not to my knowledge. So Vicksburg Firearms never sent you on any trips or endorsed or... Shoot, that was the one at the beginning they talked about. He synchronized the data on his drive to another device. That's what you should have snagged. You're going back in. This time I want you to take Mr. Janice. <sighs> oh no. Oh gosh. This is so illegal. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh my gosh, they're literally not trying to be subtle. Nope. What's going on, Eddie? You seem kind of gloomy. Just got a lot on my mind. This is cruel. Yeah. Sorry, man. Do we know that girl? I think that was Maxine. Mm. That's my key inside. <gasps> Janovich, you don't have to do this. Is he gonna let fire? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, there's something really wrong with Ricky. See right there. <gasps> Come on, Ricky. Judas, it's no wonder. She tried to commit suicide. Call 911 now. Okay, okay. I think he's like really starting to care about these people too, and now. Oh boy, this has gone yeah very far. Oh no, you can see the floor. Who's her replacement? Did you hear what I just said? The woman almost killed herself tonight. They torched my place tonight. Well, at least we know we have them motivated. They got the MP3 player. The files are encrypted. They got teams of people. If we stay. What do you mean, if we stay? What are you saying to me? Nick? It is your job. It is our job to protect them. Well, there's only so much I can do, all right? Who? Oh. Fitch wants to meet. I mean, we knew I'd have to go face to face with him. I can play him. I can... Are they amateurs? Is this above the no. This video is from a security camera inside juror number nine's apartment. You are lucky I can't make out his face. Your Honor, I move for a mistrial. No, Mr. Cable, there's not going to be a mistrial here. Motion denied. Would the gun company want a mistrial? Probably, right? To prolong it? Oh, I guess, yeah, it would be prolonged. Yeah. Then they have to rebuy the jury all over mm -hmm. The guy in the video yeah. set fire to Nick Easter's place last night. What? How would you know that? Because I was there. You went to a juror's yes. residence yes. without asking me? Mm -hmm. You're a young punk, and you should have asked me. You're Nick fired. Nick Easter You're is fired. spinning this jury. There's some kind of twisted power play going on between these two. So right. why hasn't the defense told the judge about Nick Easter? Because they're really going to buy this verdict. Good afternoon, Marley. I see you and Mr. Easter are keeping busy, busy, busy. Cafe on Canal Street, main dining room. 15 minutes. I think they have her out resourced, and I don't. I mean, he's on the inside. Though. I know. I just want to bet with myself. I figured you for blonde. <laughs> it's not her. Definitely not her. Mr. Fitch, this is for you. Me out front, you have one minute. So the cameras can't see her. Oh, can't get set up. 
Look, can I tax you or something else? The cameras can't come. Well, that's smart. What's your price? Ten million, non-negotiable. Five hundred thousand dollars. That's a big difference. Than what she put out there. Yeah. I wouldn't drop off your dry cleaning for that. You want to ask Nick about that? How do I know that you can provide the verdict? Look, we know you're leaning on a couple of jurors, but you need nine warm bodies. You lose this one, and every civil lawyer in the country is going to be holding out his hand. You won't get off until the next stop. It's the zoo. Uh oh. I want you to consider it. When you're ready to pony up the ten, email me at this address. It's a free account, untraceable. Okay. Okay. I like don't know what I want to happen. I like, know. what's a happy ending here? I know. What did she mean by you know what happens if you lose this case? I'm assuming like his business is dead and he has no credibility, right? And he can't come in and be like, I'll win you any case you want. Somebody got to that girl. Why would anyone want to get to us? Same reason they want to get to any of us. So what's the outcome of the trial? They said they would put him in jail for life. I didn't vote in favor of the gun company. Was he actually arrested? I don't think so. But now they're sequestered and she probably can't. Well, I don't actually know how much they can. Maybe they can talk to their family still, probably. I don't know. I've been watching you, Easter, from day one. I've been up with guys like you my whole life. I want you to understand something. I don't like my hand being forced. You understand? Get some sleep, Frank. Interesting. Aww. He's like nice and good. I know. I know you're playing both sides. We are. You tell me why I shouldn't go to the judge, get a mistrial. You wouldn't put Mrs. Wood through the pain and the expense of a mistrial. She couldn't afford it. You don't know it. anything about Celeste Wood. She's not in it for the money. What are you in it for, Mr. Orr? What do you think I'm in it for? I like to get the law changed. But you need help. You can be a good boy, play by the rules, or you can win a huge victory for gun control. Who's yeah. taking the pictures? Oh, I'm sure it's the other team's side. What makes you think this witness is ever going to make it to the stand? Bitch, we didn't call he's going to get to him. To he's your star we didn't, we didn't, witness. No, no, listen, if he listen, hasn't listen, already, no, you don't, don't know what this witness is. Sweetheart! Just, he came to us. He's tucked away right now. I'm not going to tell you where. Yeah, but Fitch will get to him. What do you want to bleed me for? Ten million. Oh, that's a big number. With rank and Fitch in the game, you can't win. Bye. <gasps> Who hurt you? Who made you this way? Come on, you know what you're messing with here? You know how important this is? Chip Kells. I don't think that was his name, but it was evil, so we know who you're talking about. <laughs> Found this in the Cincinnati stack. He used the name David Lancaster, but he didn't make it on. Let's see if Mr. Lancaster's left any loose ends behind. Shoot. Your Honor, I'd like to request a, a brief adjournment. Where's your witness, Mr. Rohr? We're looking into that. Denied. Your Honor, this is my key witness. Well, then you should have kept a tighter leash on him. Your Honor, it will be highly prejudicial to my client if we are not well, committed. I will take just that a... as a motion for reconsideration. Your Honor. Denied. I have no next witness. If so, Mr. Rohr, then plaintiff rests. Thank you, gentlemen. What does that mean? What'd they do to him? Yeah, that's what I'm nervous about. Oh, that smug look I'll back to. Oof. Wendell Rohr, Rankin Fitch. Rankin Fitch? Rankin? Very, um, of the people. Oh, you condescending. What'd you do to my witness? Maybe he uh, decided against biting the hand that fed him these past few years. Don't tell me you hung your case on somebody's conscience. I hung my case on my own conscience. You are a moral man living in a world of moral relativity. You kind of actually believe him. I know. If you're relying on testimony to win this case, you've already lost it. You think your average juror is King Solomon? No. He's a roofer with a mortgage. And this man doesn't give out single solitary about truth, Justice or your American way? The people fit. My point exactly. You just ensure that his wife goes to the cemetery in a better car. And that the heel that she snaps on the way to the graveside belongs to a $1,200 shoe. But Jacob Wood and all the other gun violence victims remain rotting in their crypts. <gasps> oh. He has a very... That was a really evil speech. Very negative look on humanity. Yeah. You're going to be all alone in a room full of shadows, and all you're going to have is the memories of all those people's lives you have destroyed. You may be right, but the thing of it is, I don't give a shit. I never have. Is he a sociopath, perhaps? Seriously, so evil. Oh, and he just wants to be good and play by the rules. I'm going to need access to the... Firm's emergency reserve. In what amount? 
10 million. Gentlemen, I've lost my footing in this trial. Did they kill that witness? No, they must have just no, threatened his family. family. Yeah. Oh, just threatened his family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just casual. For David Lancaster. I don't know where he went. No forwarding address. Got this letter for him. Jeff Kerr, care of David Lancaster. Do you know Jeff Kerr? No. <clears throat> you know, I could maybe split the rebate with you if you wanted to let me. David Lancaster. How does this guy keep getting him in, getting himself into these rooms that I feel like he's not supposed to be in? The Second Amendment permits every good citizen of this country to keep and bear arms. As long as it stands, we're going to continue to operate under its protections. The uh, ad copy used to sell the Performer 990. Would you read it to the court, please? Also available in a print-resistant finish. Now, who in your mind, sir, might be eager to purchase a salt-type weapon in a fingerprint-resistant finish? Anybody. Fingerprints are 90% water. Water corrodes metal, metal rust. Tell me, sir, how much of Vicksburg's profits come from assault-type weapons? I'm not familiar with that percentage. You know that this gun is favored by criminals. It's Objection, say. Your it Honor. It is the government's Objection. responsibility. To, the jury, say, to my client, Objection, Celeste Wood, Honor. who lost her husband, and not answer, your sir. problem. Sustain. With the criminal <laughs> finish, it's not your problem. I the oh. Second Amendment. Damn it. Jury's not gonna like that. I looked in the faces of those jurors. I didn't see any friends sitting there. Now, where the hell are we with securing my it's a cat and mouse game? You'd just be a little more cat, a little less mouse. I love when they make them freak out on this yeah. thing. Show yeah, me noise. too. Uh huh. Can't play it quite that cool, can you, Mr. CEO? Hello, Rankin. I'm ready to make a deal. I'll pay you the money. I want to meet Nick. Won't happen. How about his pal, Jeffrey Kerr? No, we meet her, there's no deal. Non negotiable. <sighs> So I'll get back to you. You need the power. They lost the power. They cannot ride up to this negotiation on a moped. I don't think they're going to negotiate, are they? Right now? I don't know. Couldn't they technically take the 10 million and then he could, they could leave town? Yeah. I mean, I feel like Fitch would not rest until yeah, they are dead, problem. but yes. I hope you don't mind. I was waiting so long. Uh, I made a sandwich. It's a really creepy guy. Yeah. You filming this? No, no, no. I, I couldn't use it. Neither of us wants a mistrial. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm probably not there to help her either. I just want to know why. Money. Safer ways for a sharp kid like you to make money. Business, politics, sports. You tell me what isn't rigged. And why should the lawyers and guys like you make all the profit? And Marley? I'll leave it to her to tell you her reasons. How well do you know her? Did you really bring me out here to talk about her? Tomorrow's the big day. We need a little insurance. Sit down and talk. I'll make you a sandwich. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Can anybody hear that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yes, fight back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He wouldn't. Yes. Oh. 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 <gasps> I can have 10 million wire transferred to the Caymans. But tell me, who have you got? Fernandez, DeShazo, Grimes, and Dupree are in the back. Deeds and Dukes pretty much follow the others. Rare and Shaver wild cards. Don't play your cards. Are you going to swing this my way? If you pay, yes. Tell Marley I'm ready to conclude our business. I must say I am uh, impressed, Mr. Kerr. I didn't see you coming. I uh, underestimated you. And as a rule, I don't do that. I think he's gonna throw me into the ocean or, so, or the water right there. You don't underestimate me. I have a feeling after tonight, we're gonna be fast friends. Seems wrong. Yeah. How is he gonna know about Marley? What is it? <gasps> I bet you didn't expect to hear from me so soon. Is this a bad time? Your associate with the accent. He won't be coming home tonight. At least he won't be walking home. <gasps> oh my gosh. The price just went up. What was that? A knife? A knife, I think, yeah. Negotiable. Oh, you're mad here, so he didn't kill her? Are you freaking kidding me? Was he actually gonna pay the 10 million, you think? Or was he just gonna have her killed? I think he was gonna have her killed and then he got his cards. He like knew who he had in the bag. Closing arguments will begin shortly. The jury has now heard all the evidence in this landmark. It's been a very highly charged trial. All that Jacob Wood and those 10 other people did, all they did wrong was to go to work. And there's going to be another shooting and another shooting, and it's not going to let up until we demand a change. For the first time, make gun violence 
the gun industry's problem. Oof. His smug face. I know. Jeff had a real passion for the law and the reality of how a big firm and after Gabby got her undergraduate degree, he dropped out and they left. Did you say Gabby? She was Jeff's girl from back home in Gardner. Yeah, we don't tell everything we know about everyone to yeah. everyone asking. To random people. Yeah. But I think I got a good lead on the girl. Well, move it along. The judge is about to give this thing to the jury. I will now give you some instructions, after which we will hold a recess for lunch, and then you'll begin your deliberations. Did you come up with the money? You know, it's amazing how easy it is to procure $10 million, but as bad as I want to win this case, and I do. She's not going to do it. I think it's more important that I can rest my head on the pillow at night. You're giving it to Fetch. I'm going to take my chances. I'm proud of him. Me too. I'm thinking of buying this house down here. Do you think this is a good neighborhood for kids? I raised my girls here. Oh, really? I sure did. Are we concluding our business today or not? Just one minute, please. Oh my gosh, what are you doing so to his mo her mother? Jury has the case. There could be a verdict any second. And I'll call you back as soon as I get on the road, okay? Roar has taken himself out of the game. I thought maybe you might be inclined to make a reduction in your selling price. Do we have a deal or don't we? We have a deal. Congratulations, Mr. Fitch. You just bought yourself a verdict. Mm. The law is also on, meant to serve the people. That's right. That's right. I'm with you, Not Frank, right? How does he get, I know, the info? So now he has to make it for Rankin. Nice vote. So I'd like to say something. Are these your daughters? Mm -hmm. Forgive me. It's still hard to talk about. He's not going to hurt her, right? I'm sorry. Do you want to? Well, it was bad enough losing Margaret, but it's been so long since I've spoken to Gabby, I just feel like I've lost them both. How did Margaret pass away? You're not from around here. You wouldn't know about the shooting. Oh, I can guess which way you lean. Yeah? You've had an agenda the whole time. You're the plainest boy. They made a good product. It worked. It's a little more complicated than that, Frank. It is a little more complicated. I know a lot of other people had bad times, but they never sued. Could we vote, please? That's not good enough. Right? That's, vote. That's not good enough. I want to talk about Celeste Wood. I don't think it's about the money for her. Well, I yeah. think it is, but... Well, that's why she's probably like, you have to talk to her about her reasons. But then are they really going to swing it that way if it's personal? I have never asked anybody for a handout. She's not asking for a handout. She was with Jeff, Gabby's boyfriend. She froze. Jeff just kept saying, I could have pulled her down. Always thought there was something that he could have done. I deserve a hell of a lot more for what I've been through. What about the law? The law? I'm giving her a cent. <gasps> That's bullshit, Frank. Yes, I'd like to report a robbery in progress at Mardi Gras Costumes. Frank is right about me. I'm the worst offender here. I made up my mind about this case before I stepped through that door. But this trial is not about me. Now, we owe it to Celeste Wood to sit in this room and deliberate the facts of the case. Don't wire the money. What? What's going on? It's a setup. Okay, people, pack it up, tear it down. Now, this is not a test. She called the police on them. Yeah. Gardner versus Blackwell Arms. Town sued the gun manufacturer. Town lost. Fitch worked the case. Fitch worked the case. It was personal. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have here, Anna. Would you hand it to the bailiff, please? Fitch is going to ruin them, though. Right? But now I feel like he actually has dirt on him. In the matter of Celeste Wood versus Vicksburg Firearms, the jury finds for the plaintiff, Celeste Wood, special damages in the amount of $1 million and general damages in the amount of $110 million. I think whoever was taking the pictures, remember they had this setup of the Marley? I think Marley and Jeff or whatever his name were taking pictures, like a blackmail, and hopefully. They won! They won. Uh oh, yeah. Julio. I'm still very scared of him, though. They're gonna appeal. You know that, right? Not with you. You show up on another case, even a contested parking ticket, this gets faxed to the IRS. And the Justice Department, Federal Board of Judicial Review, retired as of today. Gardner, Indiana. School shooting. The town really thought they had that one, didn't they? We did have it. What on earth are you going to do with all that money, huh? Fifteen million dollars, that changes people. See, back home, the victims' families could really use that money. Goodbye, Fitch. How'd you swing them your way? I didn't swing anybody. I just stopped you from stealing the thing. 
And I'm betting that the two of you, you can't stop. Because if you did, what would you have? Nothing! I think you're talking to yourself there, Mr. Fitch. Yeah. They're gonna give the money to the victim's families. They're not scam artists. No. They're vigilantes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Is this okay? Is this okay that he sees them? I think together? So. Okay, smiling, that's good. He must have known Fitch bought him, and it still went his way. I wanna go home. Okay. Okay, that was so much different than I expected. Me too! I was not expecting like this mind game the I know. whole time. But I love that kind of movie where like, you're like, what's happening the in the pieces? pieces yes. Oh, uh-huh, at the very end. And you just like they see their genius guessing. through the whole thing. Yes, uh-huh, uh-huh. I really liked it. Me too. And I like that guy, the serendipity I mean, guy. John Cusack. John Cusack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's fun. He is. He's like got that guy next door, but like, but like, has like charisma, but yes. just like just subtle and like, witty like sense him. of humor. <laughs> yes, and he's just warm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I really liked it. Me too. Yes. The whole story and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all this background yes. of what's going on in the trial and the jurors. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> it definitely put doubts in your mind about the whole jury oh, system. I know. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. I'm like, can you buy jurors? <laughs> I know that might be like us being naive, but like yeah. you gotta believe that people actually like listen to the case, you know, yes, and uh -huh, care about uh -huh. the outcome. And yeah, and I think they did in the end. But it's just, it is like a scary thought. I yes, guess, but, yeah, I know that it depends so much. Oh, so I'm like, who has more money to spend? You know, yeah, I'm like, that is scary. But yeah, but Wendell. Oh, <laughs> yes, he, I know. He was good. He Justin was good. Hoffman, he did a good. really good job. Gene Hackman yes. was so good at oh, being so my hateable. Goodness. So evil, yes. Oh my gosh. It is, yeah, they both like played their characters He so plays well. a bad guy, like, but it's funny because I first fell in love with him as a good guy. So in what? The Replacements. Oh. Football movie. Mm. Oh, so, I think I said, I don't know. Anyways. Keanu Reeves. Maybe. Number 16 on the field. Number one in our hearts. Maybe. Anyways. 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 So, but he's good. He's yeah. a very good I actor. loved, like, the character development mm -hmm. in all the areas. Mm-hmm. And I, I just love a interweaving plot. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. That concludes jury. our courtroom dramas. For now, there will be more in the future because I really am into this genre. Um, okay, you know, thank you so, so much fun. for watching along with us, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.